This is not your drawer, so I'm good. Fancy people brought worse, otherwise known as chorizo. Let me just put it like this. If this here doesn't light your fire, your wood might be wet. What is up, y'all? And welcome back to Sailing Teleroo. We are here in Lisbon, Portugal, y'all. Oh my goodness. We have a lot of food to try today. We are taking you with us on a culinary journey as we try bites to eat from eight establishments in Lisbon, Portugal. Everything from savory to sweet. And you will hear us discussing something called piri piri sauce in today's video. Piri piri sauce is a staple you will see in almost every restaurant in Lisbon. The word piri piri can be translated to pepper pepper. The peppers in the piri piri sauce come from the Portuguese colonies in Southern Africa. In the 1950s, people who were living in those colonies came and brought this sauce to Portugal where it became largely used in the Portuguese cuisine especially with chicken and pork and even fish. We need two pasta tomatoes and two pingados. From all the research we did, this place, Montegaria, has the best version of the custard tart that we are about to try and seemed like the place that is preferred by the locals and tourists alike. Pastéis de Belém is a location about 10 minutes away by a car where the original pastéis de nada was created. And pastéis de Belém is said to have a thicker crust and less of the egg custard and that Montegaria has the thinner crust and more custard. We're gonna try the traditional Portuguese pastry known as the pasta de nada, an egg-based custard pastry, and we're super excited to try it. Cheers. Oh, it's warm. Mm. So flaky on the outside. The inside is just so creamy and gooey and warm. Delicious vanilla and hints of cinnamon along with a little thin crispy crust. Outstanding. Y'all, this is so good. Pingado is espresso with just a little bit of milk that just pairs so well together. Okay, this actually is so nice together. It almost reminds me a little bit of like a creme brulee with this toasted top like that. A lot less sweet though, a lot more subtle than a creme brulee. So we give the pasta Donata a two thumbs up. We love that we could see them making the pasta donatas in large batches fresh right in front of our eyes when you order them for yourself and taste the buttery pastries still warm from being freshly baked. Oh, chef's kiss, so good. <laughs> We are headed to our next destination. It's about a half a mile walk from where we started out and we're gonna continue on tasting Lisbon. Fact about Confeteria Nacional, this was the first place in all of Lisbon to have a telephone line installed. So this place has been around for quite some time, actually since 1829. Confeteria Nacional has a factory where their pastries and cakes are made. All right, y'all, so we have made it to Cafeteria Nacional, so let's go in and get some. So let's taste this pau de douche. We had the pau de douche, which means God's bread. There's a, a slight bit of lemon. It just tastes like really sweet bread to me. Coconut on the top. Of course, the powdered sugar. Almost a hint of pineapple. If you want a pastry that isn't too sweet and rich, this may be the option for you. So the rice cake. Cheers, babe. It's a fancy rice cake. Mm. Now this one, not quite as underwhelming as the one before. Very moist and got a little sugar on top. Best rice cake I've ever had. Mm -hmm. This is good. It's like a less sweet version of like a lemon pound cake. Sip of the Bika. So we decided to go ahead and get another pasta donata here at Confeteria Nacional. That way we can compare and say, okay, this one's better, that one's better, or maybe they're even exactly the same. So here we go. We have a photo bomber. Very, very good. But if I'm being totally honest, Montegaria, much better. This is good. Montegaria is just a cut above. I'm with you. 
All right, y'all, so now that we got a belly full of sweet stuff, time for some meat. We are gonna try the Bifana, the classic meat sandwich here in Portugal, and we're gonna go to Otrebo. It is where the iconic adventure travel chef, Anthony Bourdain, went when he was here in Lisbon. Super excited to try it out, so let's go. We headed to Otrevo, a famous little cafe in Lisbon, to give it a try. Otrevo means four-leaf clover. This is a spot we saw both locals and tourists enjoying. Ready, ready, Freddy. We made it here. We have the classic Bifano. This is thin slices of pork. It's cooked in like a garlicky sauce. The sauce it's cooked in contains a hefty amount of garlic, some vinegar, and spices. Many restaurants in Portugal have their own homemade piri piri sauce. The one made at Otrevo is made using the malagueta pepper. Let's dig in. So simple, but so good. Now that is a ride on the Flavor Town Express. You got the saltiness of the pork, you got the cheese, you got the heat of the peri peri, and then the mustard, and then the soft, warm bread. Flavor Town. This is Flavor Town. So you can get it with or without cheese. We went ahead and got ours with cheese. A barber shop caught our eye, and since it was still so early in the day, Sean decided to get a cut and shave. This was a great opportunity to let time pass by between Otrevo and our next food spot. Bon Jardim, also known as the King of Chickens, may have been the tastiest place we dined at all day long. We had made it to our next destination, Bon Jardim. I don't know, keep watching to see if anything else knocked our socks off like this place did. So they are famous for their peedy peedy chicken. You can order it like it is on the menu, or you can order it in house style, where it's cooked in the peedy peedy sauce. We ordered some fries to go with it. They did tell us that it's gonna be a bit spicy, so we're looking forward to that. We love some spice. So we try first the house style without adding any cherry peri. Very tender. Slap your mama good. The juicy flavor of the chicken, the crispy skin, and then the spice of the peri peri. You often hear people refer to food as knock your socks off good, but y'all. This is Dr. Drawers all good. Y'all, this is so juicy. Are you gonna add the peri peri? Okay, I'm gonna go in. The chicken is listed as the spit roast chicken on the menu. It is amazingly tender and full of flavor. Sean went all in. He put the peri peri on his chicken. I put it in the side. I'm not as risky as him. I'm just gonna do a little dip in case it's a little too hot for me. Ready? Ready, babe and we couldn't get enough of the skin on the outside of the chicken just bursting with savory flavors and a bit of heat from the pity pity sauce. I don't think this can be overdone. If you like heat, it cannot be overdone. It's so good. It's absolutely perfect. Next up, let's check out Santini. Their website claims to be the best known Portuguese ice cream shop. Their handmade recipe has been the same for 70 years. They do not have additives and only use fresh fruit and ingredients of natural origin in their ice creams. No flavor dyes, no preservatives. We wanted to get something a little bit refreshing. You can never go wrong with ice cream. We do have a question. So is gelato really ice cream? Or is gelato sorbet? Or is gelato somewhere in between ice cream and sorbet? What say yay? Comment below and let us know. Oh, I'm dripping. They make the waffle cones here. I got the hazelnut and the Madagascar chocolate. I got the Madagascar chocolate and vanilla. 
And what are your thoughts on it? What are my thoughts? YGBSM. What is YGBSM? You gotta be sh baby. This is some good stuff. It is really creamy. This is not like a sorbet. This is very creamy, like an ice cream. Full of flavor. I really, really, really like the Madagascar chocolate, but I also think that the hazelnut kind of tones it down, so I'm glad I got the combination of the two. We headed over to Trovador's next, not only to hopefully taste some amazing food, but to also have a unique experience. Chorizo Asado is the name of the flaming sausage, something this restaurant has been serving for quite some time. The dish has alcohol in it that is lit by the server and she gives you a set of tongs to turn it and cook it to your liking. The alcohol will burn off eventually or you can take it off prior to the alcohol burning off if you don't want it quite as roasted or charred. Okay y'all, we're here having some flame grilled at our table chorizo sausage. At Troubadours in this place, is a medieval type place and it just truly looks like something straight out of game of thrones i mean i'm looking for the lannisters and the baratheons to come walking <laughs> by just any minute but we have this amazing chorizo on this fire and we're going to try to cook this without getting our eyebrows singed or my hair that is full of hairspray <laughs> yeah always an adventure but we are cooking this here sausage having a great time here at the house of lannister otherwise known as troubadour in this one we just wanted to try a little bit of the meat this is fermented honey y'all i'm really intrigued with how this is going to taste i have no idea Definitely smells like honey. Tastes like children's cough syrup. I was gonna say it tastes like honey flavored cough syrup. Yeah, tastes like something my mama used to give me when I was little. Ooh, doggy, we got sparks flying here. Places like this are not just great for the flavors and taste of the food, but to get to experience something unique like this, plus a tasty dish, is a win-win. Y'all, we're grilling this here chorizo up like a good old bratwurst out in the country on a barbecue grill. Fancy people bratwurst, otherwise known as chorizo. I'm looking forward to this. I'm kind of hopeful that it has some charred pieces on there. Y'all, let me tell you, Benihana ain't got nothing on this place. Like we got her done, son. Some really good char right here, so I'm gonna get you right in it. I love char, y'all. Let's try this. It smells so good, that smoky meat flavor. Ooh, there's nothing really quite like it, is there? Mm. Oh my God. You know what I'm amazed by right now? It's so charred. I love it. Yet it still maintains that juicy texture. How? Oh, that's good. This is exactly what this little Mississippi girl's heart is all about. It's country cuisine in Lisbon. It's grilled mm -hmm. chorizo, it's very moist and juicy. A little crispy on the outside. Mm -hmm. Soft, char grilled. Mmm, that's good. Oh my God. This falls into that yum yum. Y'all gotta get you some. Yes, it does, baby. Mmm. Mmm. If you don't like this, you might have something wrong with you. Let me just put it like this. If this hair doesn't light your fire, your wood might be wet. This is fine eating. And next, we took our time walking to Tapisco. Understandably, we were feeling full after a day of tasting so many amazing things. Tapisco was opened by chef Enrique Sa Pessoa and serves Spanish style tapas, Portuguese patiscos, and even has a vermouth bar. One of the chef's restaurants, Alma, even has a Michelin star. Okay, y'all, we are at Tepisco. The chef for this restaurant has four restaurants in total. Sean went ahead and got a little cocktail for himself. I'm just drinking water because I know I'd like to have some wine a little bit later. I'm really excited about this place. We've got three different things. They're gonna be coming out shortly, but it is only about three o'clock, four o'clock in the afternoon, and this place is packed. We had to wait just a few minutes to get a table People have been lined up outside the doors. We're so excited about trying it out.
perfect first buy. Here we go. Absolutely amazing. Best way I can describe this, y'all, this is like a ball of fried mashed potatoes with a little smoked meat inside of it. Really good stuff. Oh wow, definitely getting some heat with this. I love all the different textures because the outside is fried, the inside is so soft. The top has just like such a spicy sort of angly on top. I don't know what this white cream is, but it is really smooth and it just blends everything together. It just marries all together so well. This is really tasty, y'all. I'm just gonna get a country style. Just gonna get in there and get some and dip it. You know, fried green beans. Very crunchy green beans, super fresh. That sauce, a little tart, yummy, good stuff. Lemony, limey flavor to it. The dipping sauce is really, really tasty. It goes really well with the saltiness, fried aspect of the fried green beans. Very good. We love stuff like this. Green beans, fried on point. These, eight out of ten. That dipping sauce got a little wang to it. So up next, y'all, we have some cuttlefish tin cure. So let's see how this goes. Not even really sure what cuttlefish is. We're about to find out. So when I saw cuttlefish tin cure on the menu, I thought that was gonna be something like good old southern fried catfish fingers after the first bite really good really tasty long way some southern fried catfish fingers y'all that's a lot more like fried calamari sticks good stuff i'm going in i don't want to lose my crust Really good, great flavor. I love that fried. Put this green little sauce to dip it in. So good. It is truly, truly like fried calamari. I'm gonna add a little bit of lime to it. With two fried things in one meal, Mississippi girl. It's coming back to life, taking me back to my roots from fried food. Definitely elevated though, and that's how we like it. All right, y'all. So we have been eating our way all day through Lisbon, and here we are at the final stop. Sean ordered us some fabulous wine. It's kind of got like a peppery taste to it. It's got a leathery smell. It's really, really nice. For our final dining spot of the evening, we've decided not to mention this restaurant by name. Though the wine was a fabulous Portuguese Torriga Nacional, the food just did not make the cut for us. And this video is about where you should go and what you should try out. Unfortunately, we cannot recommend this place to you after we tried three of the options from the menu. All right, y'all, we had an amazing day of trying tons of incredible food all throughout Lisbon. Wow, what an absolutely amazing day it has been. On that note, we are going to say cheers, good night, and we will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. The two of us, Sean and I, are circumnavigating the world on our incredible sailboat for the next five years or so, exploring the globe together. If you liked this type of video, please let us know in the comments so that we know to continue making food tour videos 
in the amazing places we sail to all the way around the world as part of our circumnavigation. Your feedback would mean a lot to us. Remember to like this video and hit the subscribe button to keep up with our travel and sailing content every single week, y'all. Thank you.